Humanity. The tenacity of our kind has aided us throughout our brief history. And as we march toward the future, our technological achievements shine brighter than ever. But some of those achievements are shrouded in controversy. So today, we will attempt to break down these walls as we go directly into the lives of the Spartans. Before the Spartan program was given a much needed name change, it was known as the Orion Project, an initiative set in motion to create super soldiers that would serve as protectors of Earth and all her future colonies. However, before the Spartans could become the protectors of Earth, they had to do their duty in other ways, like killing humans. Thankfully, the Spartan program has progressed since then. For example, during the creation of the Spartan IIs, children were abducted from their homes and experimented on to create emotionless killers who suffered during later life as a result. While on the other hand, you had the Spartan IV program that consisted mainly of volunteering adults. Unfortunately, for legends like the Master Chief, this meant he went from being the last Spartan to the last cool Spartan. This is a Spartan II. These unlucky souls were encouraged to join the program when they were much, much younger. They were trained hard and exposed to horrifying and inhuman experiments that turned them into what you see before you. Like many other Spartans, the Spartan IIs were given weapons and equipment that best suited their skills and personality. Like these fine few, this is Spartan 129, Michael, he's a sniper. This is Spartan 104, Axel, he's all about close quarters combat. And this is Nick. Hey! Many consider the Spartan 2s to be the strongest due to their resigned personalities and lethality in battle. Legendary tales have been told of their courageous deeds throughout the Human Covenant War which contributed to humanity finally gaining the respect of the alien races in Citadel space, culminating in John 117 earning Spectre status. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Lucky me. As the war raged on, humanity, using their noodle, thought that it may be beneficial to make more Spartans for a cheaper price. And maybe a few less abductions. The result was the creation of the Spartan Threes, and though they may not be as deadly as a Spartan II in their prime, they are nonetheless a formidable and dangerous opponent in battle. However, their lethality was somewhat diminished by a small design flaw. The design flaw being that unless they had an electronic bum bag attached to their rear ends, they were basically useless. I'm gonna need you to take out those cubbies protecting the rain! Got it. Nope, can't do it. What do you mean you can't do it? We're in the middle of a war zone! I need the fire and reload attachment. Well, what about your Spartan laser? Now that, I can use. Well, what's going on? Yeah, I, uh, forgot to charge it. For the extra memory, I need the Remembrance attachment. Oh, you useless piece. Design flaws aside, the Spartan Threes represented a courageous group of people. In fact, some of the greatest examples of Spartan Threes were none other than Noble Team, who fought valiantly during the Battle of Reach. If for whatever reason you are unfamiliar with Noble Team and their daring adventures, here's a quick recap of their contributions to the war. Okay. Ah! Hey, give up, that's it. Ah! Oh! Ah! Sadly, Noble Team did not survive the war, but their legacy lives on in the hearts of the billions who are now enslaved by the very AI they were ordered to protect. Thank you. Some time after the Human Covenant War, a new breed of Spartans were born. The Spartan Fours. 
These newer and more efficient soldiers were carefully selected from the best of the best, like Gunnery Sergeant Edward Buck, who is now on top secret missions with a new team consisting of Buck himself, Becky402, and Ron. Hey Buck. What's up? You ever feel like the person you want to smash is not the right gender for you? I understand in the military we're not supposed to ask, but with you I don't think I have to. Buck, that's mean. Hey Becky. You want this man? Shut up. Spartan 4s are equipped with the latest in military technology, such as advanced thrusters, fully capable of breaking through the toughest of metals without suffering too much of a concussion. The excess bum baggage of the Spartan 3s has also been refined. Now that technology is built directly into the suit, enabling the wearer to do amazing things like sprinting and advanced aiming. <clears throat> I said advanced aiming. Yeah, 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 just a sec, man. This stuff needs to load. Oh, oh, great. Blue screen of death. Great. Oh, for goodness sake. Armor configuration in the Spartan 4 program is a mirror of who you will be to the other Spartans. So make sure you choose a decent set when you're recruited. Otherwise, you'll be stuck with a nickname for your entire life. Like Dubstep Guy. Uh, hands down, worst decision I've ever made in my entire life. Yo, dubstep guy, get back in here! Oh, Jesus. However, it hasn't all been champagne and caviar for the Spartan Force. Much like the Sangeli, they too have come under fire from purists with far too much time on their hands, who argue that while the updated suits are amazing scientific achievements, they have one or two fatal flaws. And interestingly, even some Spartan 4s agree on this. I took a plasma shot right to the nads, and I want my goddamn space diaper back to protect them! This padding stuff don't freaking work! Now give me back my goddamn space diaper! 